So today I'd like to quickly show you um, how to do a drawing comparison between a uh, neutral geometry format, such as step, um, like a solution to one of your models, and um, one of your own SolidWorks parts. So basically you're going to start with, I'm going to open up, um, uh, you'll see in this drop down here, SolidWorks files are selected by default. About halfway down, uh, step files um, are one of your options. And so this is basically like an export format that uh, any CAD software can create. And it's a way to package up the geometry in a way that um, preserves the, the solid shape, but you don't get the parametric features that SolidWorks creates. So I'm going to hit open. And of course, this should look familiar if you saw the assembly video. This is the a step version of the one, two, three block. Um, and we can see instead of um, the set of features to the one side, now we just have this single lump imported model. Now, the way we're going to do a comparison to an existing part is actually pretty straightforward. We're going to switch over to evaluate. Um, and in this section, we've got a whole bunch of tools. But one of them is going to be compare documents here. And so to do that, um, all we have to do is click uh, our one, two, three block solution as our base part. Um, and then I'm going to browse for one, two, three block dot solid part, which is my, let's say that's my personal version. So this is the part that I've worked on. Um, and maybe it's a little bit different, and I want to find out. So I hit OK. I open that. Um, and I can compare things like document properties if you want. Um, you can see just visually that something is different. You know, the holes are a different size. There's a fillet. But what's going to be most useful in this case is going to be to directly compare geometry. And we want to check align parts and make sure that the coordinate systems match up. So before we go any further, I want to take a moment to talk about this. Um, the coordinate systems here, the way this works, it's going to directly measure whether the volumes of these parts intersect. So you have to be sure that the coordinate system of each of these parts actually matches up. So if that's not the case, then when you go to compare these parts, they'll be in different orientations, and the comparison will show you very strange results. You'll not, you won't see like hardly any volume intersecting, or you'll see this very strange shape. Um, and so if that's the case, you want to go back into each um, object and make sure that the coordinate systems act actually match up. And so if you're curious about that, um, the way, basically the way you can um, make sure that happens is like uh, make sure that the top plane, front plane, and right plane are the same. And if they're not, you can actually, um, in reference geometry, create a new coordinate system that will appear in here that should be the same between both parts. Anyway, let's say we've gotten to this point. Our coordinate systems align. I hit Run Comparison. And now what it's going to do is compute the volume differences uh, between these two parts. And so now um, we can see in this view here, it's created a volume comparison part that shows me the green, which is common volume, uh, blue, which is material removed with respect to my solution, and brown, which is material added with respect to the solution. And so we can see that if I, for example, turn off, um, or if I snap visibility only to this part, we can see that what I've done is, unlike my reference part, I've removed this fillet. And so you can see this like, inverse fillet, like this is the part that was removed. And you can also see that because my holes were bigger and patterned slightly differently, I cut out this material compared to the original part. If I snap visibility just to material added, we can see the effect here because the holes are misaligned. Um, there's this extra material. And then if I just want to see the common volume, you can see you know, this is where it overlaps. So the overall block size is correct. Um, but, and so this gives you, basically, the volume here is a rough idea of how close your part is. So if you select Keep Bodies on Close here, when we close this out, it'll convert these to solid pieces. And then here, you have this solid part that we can save like any other part. 
And now this part can be used, this is like a fixed record of, you know, how that comparison worked. So now we have a one-to-one -one match. Um, and so you can use this tool, like, like I said, for models, like if you have a solution, you can do a model between um, two SOLIDWORKS parts directly. There's many possibilities. So keep that in mind, and that's just another tool in your toolbox.